Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're just going to be looking at the Prime, at the Asus Prime A520M-82 motherboard. This is uh, an entry level mm, Ryzen 500 series chipset. Okay, it does have a uh, Aura Sync, so that means RGB headers are present on the board. You get a you get a uh, back plate here, IO shield, not cushion, but that's okay. Right, so, um, just to make this quick, paperwork, drivers, we're not going to use those. We're going to go to the website and download the latest drivers, of course. Okay, so here is the little board. Let me close this here. Okay. And as you've noticed, uh, this is actually kind of like um, an extended, I don't know if that's even a thing, but an extended uh, micro ATX board. Um, it does take the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to uh, screw this onto a PC case. Um, typically, you know, you get a micro ATX boards that only have a one, two, three, four, five, six screws um, so yeah and that's due to the to this board having uh, four uh, DDR4 slots for your memory here but anyway let's just quickly go over the um, the board on the surface uh, you got your eight pin power connector up here two fan headers uh, one chassis one fan header you got your ARGB another regular RGB here header, uh, your main board power connector here, you got your USB front panel connector here, USB 3.0 or 3.2, no, Gen 1, okay, so it's, uh, yep, yeah, 3.2, um, you do get four SATA ports down here, let me get a close up here, four SATA ports, you got your front panel connectors here, here at the bottom, Two USB 2.0 ports or fat, you know, headers, clear CMOS jumper here, um, RGB header, ARGB, so that's two ARGB connectors. You got your COM um, header here. You got your audio out. You also got your uh, Nuatron audio, or actually, forget this. This is a Realtek uh, codec that they're using here for uh, your audio. So, okay and your IO shield or your IO portion of the mo of the, the board. You got uh, USB 3.2, you got PS2 for your legacy uh, mouse and keyboard in case you wanna do some troubleshooting. Uh, you get VGA out, which is different. So uh, display port, HDMI, USB 2.0, you got two other, um, USB 3.2, you got your gigabit 2.5 uh, ethernet here and your audio out. So really nice little board here that you get for, this one is about a hundred bucks or you, sometimes you can find it on sale for under a hundred dollars. Um, okay, so right off the bat, who is this board for? If you're a guy that just wants a little computer, you wanna do some gaming, you also wanna do some work on this, maybe some video editing, um, this will be perfect for you. If you're not overclocking your CPU, that is, this will work just fine. Um, it does allow you to overclock your memory, so enabling your XMP profile won't be an issue with this board. And if you wanna do some overclocking, you'll be just fine. So, um, as far as the power delivery, like, why is this important to know this? Because if you want to throw a 5950X on here, you want to know that this board can handle it. And if it can't, just go with something else. So let's dive into the power delivery and what type of MOSFETs and controller, uh, PWM controller they're using here for your um, uh, CPU power delivery system. All right, let's get into that. All right, guys, so I managed to dig up some information on the, uh, the setup that Asus has got going on here. So here we got a Rich Tech 
ASP 1106JGQW PWM controller and this one is a six phase controller. Um, on the high side, uh, MOSFETs here, they're using the RA14B MOSFETs and on the, on the low side, they're using the RA12B and these are 30 amp MOSFETs. So yeah, you want to, uh, yeah, that's why this thing is not for overclocking. So, you know, there's a reason why they're using uh, these MOSFETs instead of something like 50 or 60 or 80 or 70 amp MOSFETs. So yeah, but uh, just, you know, giving you guys a closer look there. Let's see here. I don't know if I can get a close up here and this thing come clear, but um, yeah, you can kind of see it there. I don't know if that's upside down or not, but uh, yeah, that's what they're using there. So here is your PWM controller made by Rich Tech and uh, it's a six phase PWM controller. So yeah. And uh, as far as memory overclocking with this thing, um, it's AMD, so realistically 3800, it's your sweet spot. I mean, they're claiming up to 5000 uh, megahertz, but come on, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's not AM5, okay? So, but um, as far as like the, the faces, um, don't let that discourage you because the board is designed to operate uh, with that in mind, with with the CPUs that you will, that sh you should be using, you should be aiming for, if you're going to be using this board. For example, a 5600, maybe a 5800, um, 5700 CPU, uh, maybe some of the APUs that you know that AMD's got out there. So it's it's a fine little board. Uh, if you want to get into gaming, this thing will do just fine. But if you're talking about a 5900X or a 5950X. This will be throttling. It will be power throttling your CPU because it's just not designed to handle that much power. But yeah, that's all I gotta say about this board. I'm not gonna go into the BIOS because the only thing that you will be seeing different from this board and uh, any other ASUS board is just that you are not giving the overclocking abilities for the CPU. Everything else is the same, exact same. Um, as far as the, uh, the heat sink, well, here you have it and they're using a one millimeter thermal pad here and it's the it's a silicone based thermal pad so in time it'll start to leak oil and you know get really nasty so yeah i will be replacing this thing but um, that's your heat sink here yeah so yeah and that's all i got for now guys i hope you learned you or you got something from this video at least um it's a good little motherboard for entry level, you know, PC gaming or just an office computer, um, it will still allow you to do most things that you want to do. You still get your PCI Express, your 16, but this is a 3.0, so you're not getting the 4.0 experience here. So keep that in mind as well. Um, also, this is connected to your CPU, and uh, it's um, 3.0. It's not 4.0 generation. So that's that all right guys that's all i got for now i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one and please subscribe if you like the video hit thumbs up and yeah i'll see you in the next one take care